we are speaking about acquisition of lands. I'm sure you know, for those who are yet to build, those who are yet to acquire lands, those who have built already, people have varied stories of how they were duped or how, you know, they didn't get access to the land they wanted to or they bought lands at waterlogged areas. I mean, several problems when it comes to acquisition of lands. This morning, we are, are privileged to be joined in the studio by the Ghana Institution of Surveyors to help us understand the dynamics with regards to acquisition of lands here in Ghana. Good morning. Good morning. So I have two gentlemen here with me. Sovea Ayan Agbenyega is uh, with the planning committee and also uh, Sovea Timothy Anudoho. Looks like an Aigbe Kokos this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that again. Good morning. Uh, all right, so what Good do you think is the... Guys. Great. What do you think is the biggest problem when it comes to land acquisition here in Ghana? Well, uh, we believe that uh, if the landowners um, and the purchasers consulted professionals uh, like us, like the sister lawyers, others in the built environment, it will be easier for them. Uh, what we do in Ghana mostly is that we try to do it our own. And like we always say, if you are sick, you go and see the doctor, you are sure to be well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we believe that in land acquis acquisition in this country, the biggest problem is the non-consultation of professionals mm -hmm. in the process of acquisition. If you say consultants or professionals, I have my money, I want to buy a land maybe at Ashalaja, mm -hmm. then they tell me to go and see the, the government chair or the, the area leader. Of, yes. are you, so you think that they have access so, and someone tells you, oh, I got my land through this person. That, that, that is where the problem is comes. Is that not right? Uh, the, when we look at the laws of this country, the, what we call, usually call the indenture and the document that covers the land is prepared by a conveyancer or by a lawyer, solicitor. It, the law says that because it's a legal document, the person says it is mine. What is he selling to you? Are you sure about the boundaries of what he's selling to you? Are you sure he's showing you what it's appearing on the site plan? And that's where we, the surveyors, come in. So a land surveyor would help you identify that, yes, this is the exact plot you are talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have a valuer who will help you if you want to know the price, you want to be sure of what it is. Mm -hmm. And the quantity surveyor, when after post-acquisition, when you want to build and want to know the price of it, will help you. So when I say you need a professional, that's what I mean. That mm -hmm. uh, you might go look at the land, talk to the person, Later on, go and register and find out that the land is not even the one you are talking about. Well, yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm told your institution, maybe you're not visible enough. <laughs> you know, maybe people do not, because I'm told part of your code of ethics is that you don't advertise. Yes. Why is that, though? You it, know, it, if you don't it, advertise, it, it, how do we know that we could come to you for help? It's not peculiar to us. Okay. Our work advertises for us. In mm -hmm. fact, when we are governed by the Professional Bodies Act. Mm -hmm. So do lawyers don't advertise, but we find them when we are in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do other professions also. You don't see big billboards and say, I'm a lawyer, this, I'm the best advocate. So are we also under the same Professional Bodies Act? And therefore, our work always speaks for us. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about your contribution to national discourse and whether or not you've made any impact you know, on the economy. Let me come to you. Uh, so you are made of three different bodies, your yes. institution. Yeah. Yeah. Who and yeah. who make the up Ghana your institution? The Ghana institution of is made up of three uh, professional bodies. Mm -hmm. We have the LS, the land surveyors. The land surveyors. Yeah, we have I, the... I think people actually think about land surveyors. When it comes uh, exactly, to surveying, we just exactly, think about the exactly, land. Yeah. Exactly, in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We have the land surveyors. Then we have the valuation and estate. Surveyors. Valuation and estate. Surveyors. Okay. Then we have the quantity surveyors as well. It's not the same thing. No, no, it's not the same thing. We all do different things, but coming together in the build environment. So if I need to buy a land and I come to you, I'll need to see all these three different bodies. Is that No, it? not necessarily. If you need to buy a land, then you need to talk to a land surveyor, mm -hmm. who is also within the institution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the land surveyor will tell me where to buy my land. No, no, it should help you identify yes. the boundaries yeah. of your land, okay. where it starts and where it ends, and whether it's that same land they are speaking about. Okay. Uh, and then, whether or not the land, the, the land owner is telling you the truth about the boundaries well, of. Well, he he will direct you to the institutions that okay. the, 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 the lands commission and all that, but he can help you, mm -hmm. lead you to interpret what's the information that they're giving to you mean. So can the valuation and estate surveyor also assist you in that regard. Mm -hmm. But does your job include telling me whether where I'm buying my land is waterlogged 
or whether it's, well, in, it's in a safe place? The, the no? surveyor would, the land surveyor would give you the exact boundaries of the site. Okay. And he can identify for you on his on the base maps, what they call the topo maps. He can be able to tell you what the, the nature of that parcel of land is like. Mm -hmm. And then we have other sister organizations like the planners who are also assisting in the in the way of planning so you can consult them and help what the layouts uh, because the land surveys actually help the, the planners draw the what we call the base maps so they can also assist you in, in how about the cost you know there are several adverts these days <laughs> bring five thousand will get you well, three plots of land <laughs> well how am i able to the, know whether these people are the, duping me or not the, is the, it part of your job the, the, what you do is that in land acquisition it's it's simple when you consult the professionals or you yourself understand what it is Anybody can see anything. Like I say, it's marketing. Uh, I can tell you, I will give you X. What you, the purchaser, needs to do is to be able to cross-check and be sure that what the person is saying is true. Mm -hmm. Like we see cars lying by the roadside. Mm -hmm. They are nice cars. When we want to buy them, we still check on their ownership mm -hmm. and all that. So much like land, anybody can advertise. Mm -hmm. People have money and they are selling. But you, the person buying, uh, like they say in law, you, might, you, might, you are the purchaser must be. My, my, my must be where, yeah. and but, therefore but, you, you have to be. Okay, aware. buyer beware. Buyer beware. <laughs> <laughs> but is your institution able to tell whether this price is too good to be true? Well, that no good to be true. So mm -hmm. the, the, the evaluation and estate surveyor's okay. job is to obtain values, and therefore he can advise you that look, mm -hmm. this land may, this is a price that we believe that it should be able to go for. So, so what people who do facilities loans and all that, mm -hmm. they know it very well because we help them in estimation, even for bill bonds and all those things for auctioning of of buildings so so you work that. directly or closely to the with the ministry of lands and yes. all the other institutions I, uh, works and house and the ministry that, of lands, lands works, works and house and how long have you been here is it 51 years 51 years now 51 year. years and so you're marking your 51st anniversary yes and your 15th it's actually AGM. the 51st agm agm okay the 15th of years week surveyors week yeah okay maybe your your institution is not visible enough Maybe, can you tell us some of the things you've done with regards your contribution to national discourse? You know, were you part of the Cote d'Ivoire, uh, uh, the ITLOS um, discussions? Yes, we were. You were? We were okay, yeah, tell us, we were, what we contribution did you play? Uh, we have our uh, professionals as part of the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't really recall yeah, their names, yes, but yeah, we yes. have senior members of the institution mm -hmm. who were part of that whole process, mm -hmm. right from the onset to the end. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I remember we even um, honored them uh, during our uh, uh, 49th, mm -hmm. yes, okay. anniversary celebration, yes, okay. at the Golden Tulip. Okay, so let's talk about your your 15th. We, we, um, to add mm -hmm. to that, we mm -hmm. also have established now mm -hmm. the prime meridian line at Somania. You know, it's no more an imaginary line. Oh, it's no more an imaginary yes, line. Yes, you yes, know, yes, in school they used to say that it's an imaginary exactly, line. Exactly, exactly. We talk about the Greenwich Meridian. That's that is so passed through Tema. Yeah, it passes through Tema. Okay. Then right to Somania. Okay. As we speak now, the place is, we've set up the place is now a tourist site for students and other Ghanaians. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's also creating economic benefit for those who live around because I mean they come mm -hmm. and they bring students into. Let's see what we've done over there. So the institution plays yeah. a key role. Yeah, apart from that, we've also been engaging in value for uh, money analysis in this country. The most Can recent, you give us some examples? The, the, the most recent that we did was the uh, Sino Hydro project. Yes, okay, yes, what yes, role yes, did you yes. play with the Sino Hydro team? Yeah, we did the value. The, controvi the controversial Sino Hydro Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. We did the mm -hmm. value for money. But okay. as, as we maintained, uh, when the issue came up, I mean, it's a relationship between uh, uh, a professional and a client, and we can't sit and disclose a lot of things in public. That mm -hmm. is why you don't hear the institution talking much about mm -hmm. about what transpired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as a matter of fact, we do value for money mm -hmm. analysis as well. Yes, mm -hmm. value so, engineering and stuff. So let's talk about your week, money. your yes. week celebration, your fifteenth, your fifty-first AGM. Yeah. And then your 15th week yeah. celebration. Yeah. Take us through. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, we have, as a team, um, surveyors and emerging technology for national development. And we believe that as surveyors, um, in recent times, there have been upsurge of technology. And we want to ask ourselves, mm -hmm. as surveyors, professionals, how are we going to leverage on those technologies mm -hmm. to, to improve what we do? Mm -hmm. So the client will receive a good service. Mm -hmm. The week starts on 15th 
uh, on Saturday. Saturday yes, okay. and we want to start with a walk mm -hmm. from the Aviation Social Center mm -hmm. right down to Polo Park. Then we come back. We hit the the um, Ghana Home Loans traffic light. Then we come back to uh, the Aviation Social Center. After which we'll do some aerobics and some play some games and socialize. Then mm -hmm. we 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 depart. Mm -hmm. Then on Monday, mm -hmm. we'll be having a press conference at the Secretariat, and uh, I believe um, most of you press houses will be What's invited. What's the press conference about? Every year, mm -hmm. we take up topical issues Okay, in the so what, what issue are you taking and up this time? When you come there, you, <laughs> you get to know. I don't <laughs> okay. want to divert information. Alright, so on here. Tuesday, what's happening? Tuesday, mm -hmm. we'll have orientation mm -hmm. for our okay. newly okay. Uh, qualified members. Mm -hmm. okay. Then that will be at the Institute okay. of Local Government. Okay. We'll okay. be having induction of new members on uh, so, 19. So, in a nutshell, why should I be there? Why should I be part of your celebrations? You should be part of the celebration because mm -hmm. uh, it will enable you to know the kind of technologies that are in, in the system now okay. for surveyors okay. and whether or not you like to benefit from those 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 technologies right, yes right yes so there are iron agbenyega is, is part of the planning committee for uh this uh, program they are going to be having that starting on saturday savia timothy and is a member of the governing council of the Institute of Surveyors here in Ghana. We've been discussing issues concerning land acquisition. I hope you picked a, a thing or two from that.